Greetings, fellow beer lovers. I am here for another 1001 beers you must try before you die. <laughs> First brewed in 1987. Oh, my phone keeps slipping. Professional. That's me. Um, first brewed in 1987 is the beer we're going to be reviewing today. Um, so, and it's from Herefordshire in England. Um, uh, so it's ahead of the curve in terms of uh, the, the beers, the interesting beers that are out uh, in England at that time. Uh, it's brewed by Y Valley Brewery. It's 4% and it is Hereford Pale Ale or HPA. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the beer. Um, talk about the actual, let's talk about the, the design first. Uh, I think it's very, very distinctive. It's got this nice big HPA. I love the sort of the triangle. It's not actually a triangle label, it's a square label, which, but this, this massive triangle thing in here, and you've got clearly which brewery it is. Um, and you've got a little bit up there, the White Valley. Uh, it does say very, very clearly it's bottle conditioned, which is very, very important, useful. It's on the front there. And there's a little, little story at the back, as usual. A truly delightful bottle conditioned pale ale that tastes as distinctively different. It's smooth on the palate and boasts a citrus hop aroma leading to a balanced bitter finish. Enjoy with lighter dishes such as Thai fish cakes or chicken roasting, ho roasting honey and lemon. That's a very, those are from very specific uh, food pairing options there. I have neither of those tonight, so I will see. Um, it's got instructions how to pour it as a bottle conditioned beer. It even promotes camera. It says camera says this is real ale, um, which is good. Um, so let's talk about uh, what's in it. So um, it's it's 100% pale malt. It's important to say. Uh, so no sort of dark malts in here. Um, uh, the bittering hops use is it, mostly uh, so some of the bittering hops are target, uh, but the late edition aroma hops are uh, styrian golding from Slovenia. So that's a kind of a that gives it a nice floral taste. So let's see how that goes. Uh, the tasting notes, very important. As pale as a golden pilsner. Um, okay, that's that's the cover. Doesn't comment on the flavour, that's fine. A pronounced citrus and a floral hop aroma leads into a quenching flavour on the palate with hints of grapefruit and lime for a long, dry, refreshing finish. This sounds lovely. Uh, and I'm quite thirsty right now, so this is, and hopefully it's going to be a nice refreshing beer. 4%, it'd be fairly easy drinking. So... Let's uh, get the the Enterprise. As I, some of you have never actually commented on my bottle open before, but this is the Sasha of Enterprise. Uh, that which is a lovely big chunky bottle opener. Okay. Oh, I can smell that out the bottle straight away. It smells lovely. Okay, let's go for the pour. So bottle conditions. So obviously, got to make sure uh, to pour in one fluid motion and leave. And the little yeast bits at the bottom. Right. Okay, good. I'm not making a hash this like I did with a proper job the other day. Okay, not actually too much. Just need a little bit in there. Don't need a huge amount of yeast in the bottle for that one. Um, right, let's talk about the beer. How it looks. So. Um, by the way, you may have noticed as well, I often like to promote the Reading Beer Festival from the glasses. So I'm not going to talk any more about that. Maybe another beer review. Um, great head up here. Really is as pale as a pilsner. It really looks like a lager. Um, so top-notch tasting notes there. Hugely carbonated. Massive carbonation. That is from the... That's largely from the bottle conditioning. The yeast has been in there. It's been really tight up in there in that bottle. Um, that's, so it's been way to be released. So let's go for the smell, shall we? Mm. It does taste really floral. A little bit of citrus, but the, the biggest aroma on there is, is the floral, um, which comes from the uh, the aroma hops, the uh, the Slovenian Starry and Golding. So another smell. That's lovely. It smells really good. Uh, so I guess might as well go for the taste then. So cheers. Had a good draw for that. I was trying to get through the head. Wow, that really is thirst quenching. I must say, um, 
that's really nice. It isn't like really strong tasting. It tastes really, really light and floral. And there's a bit of citrus, but it's really, really refreshing. Um, and actually, that's quite nice, a beer. It's not overwhelmingly hot. I mean, I love my hoppy beers, but this isn't overwhelmingly hot, and it just tastes... It's everything a lager should be, and it's not a lager. It's really, really interesting, and there's a little story in the book. I'm not going to read it, because I'm going to ruin the book for people who want to read it, but there's about how they actually broke into uh, the market, people who like to drink lager through, through this beer, and I can absolutely see how they did that. Um, I, just the way it, they've made it basically seem like a lager that tastes really good. And it's real ale. I mean, I've um, you can get this um, uh, in, in cask. Uh, you'll find it in a lot of pubs, maybe more around the area of Herefordshire, Wales, maybe. Um, so it probably won't be as fizzy, then it'll be much paler. But I imagine it's just as refreshing. Let's go for another drink. Mm. that really is nice um again it's quite interesting like, i really like this but it hasn't got a huge amount of flavor it's just really really thirst quenching it's uh i don't know it's because i was thirsty but it tastes really good um top marks to to wire valley brewery there for making a, a really lovely golden beer um this isn't this isn't an IPA. It, it's a pale ale. It's absolutely. I mean, it, it really is. You know, you see a lot of people who 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 create what they call pale ales now, and they're really dark. They're actually amber beers. This is a true pale ale. I mean, look, it's just you know, really nice light yellow, um, sort of almost the color of kind of honey. Doesn't taste honey, by the way. So I mean, really, really spot on with with the taste notes and I, I say spot on to white valley brewery so i i i uh I, oh well i'll talk about the litmus test will i have this over doom bar and green king ipa yes absolutely in fact i'm almost tempted i i bought this when i was up in wales this bottle actually um don't see this brewery very often down south uh however if i ever see this again i'm definitely having a pint so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go away and drink this in my dinner. So I'm going to make it in a minute. Which isn't Thai fish cakes or, um, what does it say, chicken roast in honey and lemon. Uh, but, you know, I'll have to make do. I've got paella instead, which I'm sure will go nicely with. Um, right, I'm going to stop uh, waffling on. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you had this beer before? It'll be interesting to hear what you think. Whether you think it's as thirst quenching as I do. Um, do like this video. Do comment on this video. And do subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.